every now and again, I do actually record my Operation Arsenal before the game's finished, but never have I ever done it at half time. <laughs> I can only laugh at this point. I'm an F1 fan, guys. I'm an F1 fan. I don't support football anymore. Actually, no, 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 I do. I'm I'm still a football fan, but maybe not an Arsenal fan. Maybe, maybe I can't do this anymore. Maybe I'm done. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Um, I thought, why not? Let's, let's talk about it now. What's the point? 3-0 down at halftime. Down to 10 men. Thank you, Granite Xhaka. New deal! Brand new contract. Sign it, even though you really wanted to leave. Liking Instagram posts from Roma. Oh, he loves Mourinho. He loves Mourinho. Well, go on then. Oh, it, it fell apart. Never mind. Let's let's give you a brand new deal. We almost conceded within the first minute of the second half. Um, I think I'm almost done doing this. Genuinely. I've said it once or twice in recent times that I don't know if I can actually sit and watch these games live on air and watch the comments coming through. I... <laughs> I do question my sanity sometimes. It's crazy. It's it's crazy. Why am I doing this? Why do I review every Arsenal game? Why do I watch every Arsenal game live on, on stream? Why do I do this? It's because I love the club and also I love talking about the club. I love talking about football and this this club is my passion. But my god, it's 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 this close. It's this close. I, I'm I'm genuinely I, I think my decision is I'm gonna go into September thinking, this is your last chance, Arsenal. For September, I'm going to stream every game. If by October things are still awful, maybe I'll be done. Maybe I'll be done. Because I love this club. I love it so much. But the state we're in right now, I, I don't even know what the word is to describe it. I'm genuinely lost for words. People that know me in real life, they'll say... I'm, I'm, I'm all, I've always got something to say. I, I can always think of something. I'm never speechless. I am speechless today. The first half has to go down as probably one of the lowest moments in my Arsenal career <laughs> supporting this damn club. And that goes back to 2001 when I first started supporting it. And I, I got very, very lucky, didn't I? Man, I got so lucky to witness Arsenal go through that period where they were arguably one of the best teams in Europe, if not the best team in Europe at that time, to win the league unbeaten. Champions League final. Could have won it. And now I'm watching Kolasinac line up as a centre-back in 2021. Just hours slash days after hearing his contract is going to be terminated. It's OK. Start him against Man City. One of the best teams in the world. Start him at left centre-back. Oh, and on the other side, we've got Chambers. And in the middle, we've got Holding. Right back, we've got Cedric. The standards of this football club. Non-existent. Players are walking. I'm seeing Arsenal players earning hundreds of thousands of pounds a week. Walking on the pitch. Not... A care in the world. Man City are winning this game 3-0 against arguably one of the worst teams in the Premier League right now. 3-0. Arsenal, 10 men. Yet Pep Guardiola is up in the touchline box area, fuming at his players for not doing the right thing. And Arteta, I mean, credit to Arteta. He does get into the, his technical area. That's the word I was looking for. And he does try. He does try and get the players playing. But it, ugh, I don't even know where I'm trying to go with this point. Arteta's done. It's, it's done. It's finished. There's no way. There's no coming back from such an abysmal start to the season. And, and, and people will sit there. Non-Arsenal fans will sit there. And most will agree and say, yeah, what are you even doing with Arteta, right? But a lot of fans would say... Well, you've lost three games at the start of the season. Chelsea and City. Why are you, why are you Arteta out? Why are you, why are you sacking him now? It's not just now, though, is it? Did you know that in a window where Donnarumma, Ramos, Messi, Ronaldo, uh, Sancho, Varane, 
All of these players have moved in this window. You would think this is the craziest window of all time. It is. Yet Arsenal are still the top spenders. With a few days to go. How can Messi, Ronaldo, all of those players move in a, in a window and Arsenal are the top spenders and we're not even better? Let's circle back to the lineups there. You can see it on screen right now. It's 2021, almost 2022. We're actually a few months away now from Christmas. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy how fast this year is going, right? And we're lining up with Kolasinac as a centre-back when Saliba is out on loan. He's not good enough for the club yet. He's not ready yet. You're telling me that Saliba wouldn't even slightly improve the lineup over someone like Kolasinac who wants to leave or, or who wants to move on and terminate his deal with Arsenal. All he wants is the money paid. You can't blame him, can you? He's on crazy wages at Arsenal because he was a free signing. Great business. That was Wenger. Great business. Let's sign up Kolasinac on a free and give him ridiculous wages. Oh, OK, fair enough. You weren't you weren't expecting him to go from Bundesliga team of the season at left back for Schalke to absolute pile of whatever within a few seasons. And no one wants to buy him. No one wants to pay those wages. But you can't blame Kolasinac for saying, well, if you want to terminate my deal, I, I kind of want you to pay me what you owe me. I don't even blame the guy. He's earning a living. He, sorry, he's stealing a living is what I'm trying to say. Yet we are starting him against Manchester City and it's 4-0. 4-0. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Arsenal fans are jumping and celebrating in the empty had. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the thing is, guys, I'm doing the same. I just don't care. It's, it's a comedy at this point. Look at Cedric keeping him on side. Brain dead. Absolutely brain dead. Yes, it's Man City. I've had comments in my stream today saying, Matt, you're very negative. It's Man City. You're always going to lose this game. And my response was always, yeah, we were going to lose this game. But the thing is, when you lose a game and you show some passion, some fight, something, a game plan to at least try and avoid a heavy defeat, then I can accept it. There is no plan. There is no passion. The players are walking on the pitch. They're done. They're done with this game. And I said it earlier, the best thing that could happen right now is someone will run onto the pitch in an Arsenal top with a white flag, they'll plant it in the middle of the pitch and say, that is enough. We've all got families. We don't need this, okay? My weekend is ruined. <laughs> I, 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 what, what can I say, guys? I, I, we're not going to get relegated. I'm not going to see my beloved Arsenal in the championship next season, okay? It's not going to happen. This has been a remarkably awful, disgusting start to the season. The reality is we have a break, an international break coming up. We then have Norwich, Burnley and Tottenham. If you win those three games, I'm not saying it's OK and that it's back on track, but that would help massively, wouldn't it? A good win against those three clubs. And that is what I'm going to end this video on, because that for me is Arteta's job on the line. He's not going to get sacked today because people are right in the comments. In a way, it's City. No one's expecting Arsenal to rock up to the Etihad and beat City. No one's expecting that. What we were expecting was at least an attempt, right? But if he fails to win all three games, yes, I'm saying all three. Norwich, we have to beat Norwich. Burnley, that is going to be an incredibly difficult game for us because we're not a physical team. They are. They will bully us. We should still win because... We still can get results. You still can play against a team's strength. 
That's what you do. You, you, you pick out weaknesses. Burnley aren't as good with the ball at the, on the ground. Play it on the ground. Stop the stupid crossing for a game. You know, game plans. And then if we lose to Tottenham, oh my God. Then that would be it for me. When is that game? Arsenal versus Tottenham. And that's September. When, when is that? September 26th, right? That's it for me. September 26th. It won't happen before then. It probably won't even happen then. But if I was making the decision, that's when Arteta goes. We have to win every single game. Up until the 26th of September. Three games. Three wins. Nine points. That is it. And um, September is also the last month I'm doing this. Unless things improve. Just my God. I can't do it. Oh, I'm just watching the Arsenal fans actually dancing and celebrating in the stands. New levels of disappointment and comedy levels here. I just... I give up, guys. Thank you for watching Operation Arsenal. I'm going to sit here for the rest of this game live on stream watching what inevitably is probably going to be another few goals for, for City. And um, I'm then going to go about my weekend and try and not think about it. Just, just completely pretend it didn't happen because I find it very, very difficult to not think about it, to not want to, to see improvement and, 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 and work out what's going wrong. But this weekend has to be different. I'm going to watch the F1. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch the F1 and I'm not going to think about football because I can't. This club is actually killing me. What the hell is going on at this club?